Thank you, Orly, for inviting me to this important event, and happy World Kindness Week. My name is Mark Brackett. I am a professor at Yale University in the Child Study Center, and I'm the director of the Yale Center for Emotional Intelligence and the author of the book, Permission to Be Ill. And I'm here to talk to you about kind of the reason why I wrote this book called Permission to Feel. So let me start by asking you a simple question. How are you feeling today? Have you even thought about it? I mean it, really, how are you feeling? If you're like me, the last seven or so months have been an emotional roller coaster ride. I don't know, I've actually thought about it over the last couple of weeks that I've had feelings that I didn't even know were in the English language dictionary. And um, it's been really tough. And so I've been wondering whether people feel as if they can be their authentic, true feeling selves. And I'm not convinced that we are a world that gives people that permission yet. And that's kind of my goal, which is to create an emotion revolution. So I hope all of you are at least interested in getting on my bus. So let's start with that question. How are you feeling? There's so many assumptions in that question, aren't there? The first is that when you ask the question, you really want to know. The second assumption is that the person you ask wants to tell you the truth anyway. Because what do we mostly say? Fine, good, busy, okay. Another assumption is that the person who is answering the question has the vocabulary to describe how they're feeling accurately. And then of course, you know, let's just imagine right now, you, if you ask me how I was feeling, I might say, fine, we move on. If you ask me and I said, you know, gosh, I'm feeling this odd mixture of anxiety, frustration, fear, overwhelm, and despair. And oftentimes when I do this exercise, I get this like, oh my goodness, like, what do I do with that? I just want you to say fine, so I can go off to work or I can continue with my lesson plan. And so there's a lot of layers to this simple question. How are you feeling? But yet it matters for everything. You know, in our research, what we know is that emotions matter for our attention, our learning, our decision-making, our relationships, the quality of our mental health, our performance, our creativity, nearly everything. So let's go back to this core principle, permission to feel. What does that mean to you? Just take a moment and reflect. What does it mean to have permission to feel, to be your true, full, feeling self? Do you feel like you have the permission to be your authentic feeling self in all contexts, at home, at work, wherever else? I didn't feel that way as a kid. Um, I had a tough childhood. I was abused by a neighbor. I was terribly bullied in school. And for much of my early childhood, I was trapped with my feelings. I cried a lot. I ate a lot. I screamed a lot. I repressed a lot. I did kind of lots of things that, you know, we wouldn't call as healthy <laughs> because I was, I couldn't go in or anywhere with my feelings. I had two parents who loved me, but you know, my mom, you know, oh my goodness, what's going on? I can't take it. And my father, son, you're going to toughen up. And so I learned very early. You know, I can't talk to my parents about my feelings. But of course, there's hope. Because I was blessed in life to have an uncle. I call him Uncle Marvin. I'm not going to call him Uncle Marvin. He was my Uncle Marvin. And Uncle Marvin was this really interesting character. He was a band leader in the Catskill Mountains of New York at night, and he was a middle school teacher by day. And Uncle Marvin was the only adult in my childhood who, who gave me the permission to feel. And what do I mean by that? Well, he was the adult who asked me how I felt, but he did something that no one else did. He really listened. And when I shared all of the dark emotions that I was feeling, 
He didn't say, get some grit, you know, toughen up, or don't tell me you'll have a breakdown. He said, well, let's talk about it some more and let's, let's work through this together. And so it wasn't until I was a teenager that I was able to be my true self with anyone. And it happened to be with my uncle who just had all these different characteristics. So I wonder, during this World Kindness Week, what do you believe are the characteristics of people who give you permission to feel? What do they look like? What do they sound like? What do they do that's different? Did you have an Uncle Marvin? Was there an adult in your life who gave you the permission to feel? If not, what might that person be like in your fantasy? So I've asked, you know, tens of thousands of people this exact question, and they say things like open, non-judgmental, compassionate, kind, caring, accepting, and the list goes on. And so during this World Kindness Week, I ask you, are you an Uncle Marvin to anyone? I ask you that because, gosh, when I was on my book tour, um, I, was, I never had talked about my uncle in as much detail as I did after writing my book. And someone said to me at the end of one of my presentations, you know, Mark, my goodness, that uncle of yours, he did everything for you. And they're right, he gave me purpose in life. He gave me passion. He, he really just helped me just be my true self. And of course, my career is dedicated to him. Um, and so someone said to me, well, Mark, for whom are you an Uncle Marvin now? And I, you know, I got a little kind of stuck when that was asked to me because I'm a workaholic, you know, I just, I'm constantly doing my research and doing presentations. And, and I realized that I'm not really giving back everything that I received. And so, my call to action for all of you is to be an Uncle Marvin. I'm working on it every day with my nieces and nephews. As a matter of fact, I went to visit my brother a couple of weekends ago. We had a social distance weekend together. And um, he has two children. And he goes, you know, Mark, so are you going to be an Uncle Marvin to your niece and nephew this weekend? And I was like, yes, definitely. <laughs> and um, so what does that mean? to be an Uncle Marvin. It means exactly what I've been talking about. It means being the role model. It means that openness, that non-judgmentalness, that compassion, that empathy, that perspective taking, and the list goes on. So maybe, just maybe, from now on, um, you can be that Uncle Marvin, that that person who not just gives themselves the permission to be their true full feeling selves, but enables other people to be their true feeling selves. And on that note, I want to wish you all just a fantastic conference. And um, thank you for inviting me.